Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages, I'm Sankey84, and welcome back to Planet Base. Now, last time, we got our first colonists onto the planet and set up our base, along with getting all of our basics in. Today we're going to hopefully get some new colonists to join us so we can start to expand and even, if all goes well, get up our industry started. And there we have it. Almost missed it, but there is our first new colonist down. And we've now officially began to expand. Well, if that is a sign of things to come, that's, it's going to be a good episode. Now, let's have a look. How are we doing for power? We are running low. And that is still not producing anything. And we've got a sandstorm coming in. Now, a sandstorm is not one of the major issues you face. Later on we can stop people going out in it, however at the minute we can't. Sandstorm will produce more power for the wind turbines, because it's extra windy. However, although this is at night at the moment, if it was during the day it would reduce the efficiency of the solar panels. It also does tend to damage, yeah, as you can see there, the quality of anything left outside that even includes health of your colonists and the robots conditioning as well all right how are we doing on the storage storage is still taking a while but we did say we wanted quite a large one food is topping up although we've still got a fair bit to go with that there. Okay, and there is the sandstorm now over, so everything should be okay. I wouldn't mind getting these brought in, but unfortunately, there's no way to actually specify them at this moment to be brought in, as there's nowhere for them to go. Yeah, the medical cabinets are full. Once we've got the storage, they'll be brought in automatically. Oh, and here is our first trade ship. So let's have a look. What have we got here? So we can buy some conductors, coin. Don't know what the coin's for. I'm guessing just buying and selling. We can buy another carrier bot. Oh, that's quite expensive. Another construction bot, and that's really expensive. And a drill bot patent. Uh, that must be so you can, when we can start building our own robot. 200 is can, can we afford that at the moment? 25 each. Let's have a look. Three commissions on top of it. Right, okay. That's 310. That's going to be quite pricey. Let's, can we get it? No, that's taken away too much up. So no, we can't get that for now. So what we'll do instead is I think I want was 40 for the conductors. Right, we'll sell two of them for 50 and we'll just take the money for them for now. So, oh, okay, we're not going to sell it for 50 then because he's going to whack up a load on it. There we go, 40, 32 coins for two medkits. Not the best, but it will have to do for now. Right, that's two spare med kits that'll bring them in. And it looks like Yep, the wind turbine is almost finished. There we go. Now just needing to build the connection and then that's extra power coming in. There we go. What we'll do as well, while we are still waiting the storage to be built. 
I'm going to have to do a bit more of expanding soon, but let's get our power to make sure we don't run out. We'll get another battery down. Yeah, somewhere. When it, yeah, there we go. Let's just connect them two up. So that's double powered storage once that's built. That shouldn't take too long, thankfully. Could do some more botanists coming down. Let's have a look. Uh, yeah, let's increase the amount of botanists we can have. We've got. Right, so it takes it from the one below it. That's there. That looks okay. Yeah. Do that. Get some more botanists in, and then that should be more food produced and a better quality. How? Quality affects everything. I'm not too sure whether it gives them satisfaction, the satisfaction when we eat it or how long it lasts. Or even it could actually be how many I get. It says there's three there, but that's very poor, so no, I don't think it's the amount we get. Okay, yeah, we are running very, very low on food, so if I make this a priority, hopefully they will concentrate on keeping the food up more than leaving it. Time is just ticking by slowly, and we've got a medic who's just landed. That's not really what we were wanting, but we're going to have to hold off on new colonists for a bit because food is struggling at the moment so how are we doing did there's any oh no we've got the four botanists now they must have i must have missed them i didn't see when they arrived but that's okay yeah we seem to be getting there robots doing a few repairs Another trader, let's have a look. Oh, lovely food. Let's get some food in. So we've got some veg, some meat, booze, oh, starch, medical herbs, spares, semiconductors, money, carrier bot, or a massive storage room. Okay, that's alright, let's have a look. 32. Oh. I've got 32 right there, that's handy. Right, good job we um, saw them when we had the chance. Let's see that. And we'll get four more bits of food in. That should help. There's another, the final bunk bed finally built. So, hopefully, we'll start on other bits Is it soon. Yeah. What the plan will be is to get the lab, lab once this has been built. We're going to put one up here, I think. Would that be the best place? Yeah, because I can do that there and then I can put it on the other, an exit on the other side as well. And then what we'll do as well is we'll put another one down here here because the lab is oh, what's going on here a minute um not in a variety of food right okay well, we just have to deal with it for now because what we'll do is we'll do this lab down here first because the lab does two things okay so if we put that lab in there and we'll build another lab down here. There we go. Now, once they are built, they can start to produce one of two things. The one that I've put up here will produce food. Yep, lab created meat we're going to have in this one. So. I can't complain that they're not getting any meat. Sorry, veggies. Uh, veggies? Sorry, vegetarians. And the one down here will start producing more medical supplies. So 
So as and when these get used up, as one already has, we can then replace them. Okay, it looks like all the food is now built, so it should be okay. Plenty of food now starting to tick in. Twelve colonists. One, two, three, four, five, nine food plants. Whoa, oh, we're low on water. How did that one happen? Where's the... Did I... Did I not build a water storage tank? I didn't. Okay, well, that is an oversight. So let's get the water tank put in. And where can it go? Where will it fit? Here, yeah, I'll leave it here. And I'll connect it to both of them. And let's make that a uh, high priority because we want to get that built so we can start storing the water that we don't use. And we've got trade. Oh, what's that one? We have a gun. Right. Yeah, a I saw this, um, and with security, right, well, we'll look at that when we need to, right, let's have a look though, so, might as well try and get a couple of these bio down to help get things built, right. we need to rush a little bit, so, And I'll just top up with the coins. Three coins, that was alright. So there we go. As I say, I know we need it, but we're small. Enough of the population at the moment. There we go. And we've got our storage finally built. There it is. Oxygen going up. And then everything and anything can be stored in there. So that means. There's a nice scent, well, not really central at this moment in time, it's more off-right location to keep everything, but everything will be in one spot and then we can start to build around it. So, all comes in, if it need, it can be used straight away, it'll be put into there, if not, it can be put into storage right there, where it can then be grabbed when there's sort of space available here. Same with, well, anything really. Food will go in there. You name it, it will get put into that. Now, let's have a look. Oh, there we go, I missed that. There we go, our lab. So as I was saying previously, we can either put a workbench in and create more medical supplies or we can put a tissue synthesizer in and produce meat. Well, at the minute, I think meat is the priority we need. So let's see how many we can fit in. Eight, there we go. That should be plenty of food. And already we've got one built, that can be. Let's have a look here. Oh, yeah. So we've got chicken, beef, or oh, pork. Well, I think we'll have one chicken, one beef, and then the next one can be pork once it's in. Let's have a look what you're selling. Don't really have much to sell. I could get rid of a few veg. Yeah, we'll get rid of that. And then we'll put two of you, two, no one of you. There we go. That will have to do for now. It's low on water still. Really need to get a water tank up we do. Power's going up slowly. Yes I know it's landed and we have no water. What is not good? We are right on the limit. So what I'm going to have to do is just shut off two of these water fountains. 
Sorry guys, but you're going to have to queue for water for a bit. There we go, that should save us a little bit of water now. Once the tank's been built, however, we can then put them back on. There we go, water tank is now being built and slowly ticking up with the excess water we need. However, that does mean we're going to have to build another water pure plant or extractor or whatever you wish to call it. The water maker. Okay, that just needs one up there and you need one down here. And then once we've got that in, we've got two of our tasks for today crossed off already. That has actually gone pretty quick, like, all things considered. And we can then start on our industry side of things. Oh no, oops, yeah. I think we should put the water down in now instead of waiting. Oh, there you go. These have all been built, so let's go. Chicken. No, oh, pork, beef, chicken. Chicken, pork. Beef and pork, and another pork, and another beef. There we go. More trade ships coming in. Let's have a look. What are you? Colossal panel. Oh, that must be the biggest solar panel one. That's handy for later on. Let's have a look. What else have we got? Um, not much really that I can get rid of. So. Nothing this time. Alright, let's go and build another water extractor. And we'll put you over here. There we go. Double the amount of water now we're bringing in. And there we go. It is now completed the second lab. So, we will then uh, just go and get some workbenches in here. So once these are built, we can oh, okay, yeah, can start producing health kits. And as a, every good gamer knows, no matter what the injury, no matter what the disease, a health kit will patch you right back up and get you right back in there. And now we're running low on power because there is no wind or sun. Right. So that's the next things we need to sort out is power consumption. So we've got the water there, we've got power storage. But yeah, it looks like things are starting to get damaged and we've got no way of repairing them at this moment in time. So, no rest for the wicked, we will then get on and get a factory down. And we might as well, yeah, we'll just go for a small one for now. We can always build more and bigger ones later on. Connect that directly to the storage room, that way then, it's quicker to get the stuff from there. And let's have a look at this your trading. How much for food? Five for the veg, right. Look. Spurs, yeah, we need some spurs. And let's have a look what else can we get. Can we afford them? Let's have a look. Is that going to be twelve? One of them. Yeah, that off the day because we do need them coming in. So I'll get that, we can repair that one of them up. Okay, something's just been built. Ah there we go, the water. So there we go, we should now have plenty of water coming in. 
we should have to worry about that for a while. So that means we can now turn the drinking fountains back on. This is the final building I've actually built at any point. So any buildings I build from here on out, well, we'll figure them out together. Right, that is now built there. So we will need a spares work bench, superconductor bench. We don't need it at the minute, but no, let's just put two of each in. I mean, this looks, look at this, I mean, how you can just follow them around, watching them. Oh, that was close. Meteor hitting very, very close. Now, one thing that is a shame about this is that will just fade away soon. It would be nice if you could actually do something with the you know, landmarks or something like that. See, as I was told, it just disappears out of existence as if it wasn't there. Maybe it'd be nice if you could mine it to get some extra ore from them or something. But oh, never mind. That's how it, the game is. Uh, we have another sandstorm coming in. Right. It's okay because most of the work, as I say, is indoors at the moment. I know it does damage anything outside a lot quicker than normal. But hopefully. No, we're actually losing power at the moment. That is not a good sign. So, let's build some more. Get ourselves a nice large solar panel over here. And another large wind turbine there. Okay. Now hopefully they will get built relatively quick, what should produce more than enough power than we need for now. Okay, and there is two of the workbenches up and running. So we've got the spares, so we can make repairs to whatever is damaged. And the semiconductor that is used to build more advanced. Our next agenda We'll be getting some more ore in, I think. Yeah, because before we get any more metal processors in, we need the ore. So, some of you keen eyed viewers may have noticed last time, as I was, there we go, as I was circling around here looking for a spot for the mine, one did quickly pop up. There we have it. That's the one there, and can I fit a second on? Yes, I can. There we go. Two more mines there. Did I just connect them? Yes, I did. Two more mines there, right ne near an airlock. Actually, what I'm going to do, I'm going to delete this one for now. <coughs> Simple fact, <laughs> this is a lot closer to the airlock. The two don't want them splitting the resources to build both of them at the same time. Yeah, food seems to be ticking up okay. We've got, we've got a fair few bits of resources in. Hopefully that will only improve. Yep, I think we'll try and get a few more colonists down. Stop the trades coming in. So all ships now that land will have colonists on. Let's have a look what have we got here. We've got a botanist and a worker. Yes, that is handy. And to very quickly get to work. Beautiful. Meat can do a bit of a priority as well. As doesn't seem to be looking too good at the moment. Yeah, nobody is working on it. So we're not getting much meat. Right, there we go for now. Let's just wait for some time to tick by while resources tick up and we get our power 
supply increased, and then we can expand. We can expand some more. So, see you soon. Okay, welcome back. Right, we're now up to 20 colonists, so I think that should be enough for now, just to make sure we don't overstretch the resources we've got. However, as you can see, plenty of food sitting in storage, so that is a good sign. Everybody still seems to be getting enough food. Power still hasn't been built. But that is down to, well, lack of metal. But we do have our second mine up and running. And so I think a small expansion shouldn't be too harmful. So what we'll do is we're going to go and get a, another processing plant down. This time we're going to go for a large one. So we can get more in there, and we'll get that started now. Then what I think would be best to do would be to build uh, the metal, what are they called, the metal processors in this large one. Then take down these two and replace them with the bioprocessor. That way then we've got four bioprocessors, bioprocessors close to the farm so there's not much travel there and then the mine can bring it in place the ore in storage and then these can take it from the storage when we need it okay how's our mine looking yep we have got two workers down the mine at the moment that is handy okay and there we go just as I was talking we've got an ore Okay, what are we waiting on here? Oh, that's going to be a bit, but that's fine. We can wait, hopefully. Okay, the water tank is full and so is power. So we don't have to worry about that for now. And food does seem to be ticking up nicely. So, I think... I think we have a very nice balance going on at the moment. We just need to keep that going as we expand. Why they're busy doing what they're doing, let's go and just have a little nosy around the map. See if there's anything interesting around. I don't think there really is, but you never know. Uh, plenty of open space, a few mines and um, a few hills. No, but there is. I've actually spawned into quite a nice map. Plenty of open areas to expand and not have to worry about hills. Now, my test run on this. When I did it, I actually started in what I can only describe as a very long, thin valley. There were mountains and hills everywhere. But we do seem to have um, got pretty lucky with this one, so that is handy. And the, the one thing with this game you have to keep an eye on as well is while it is time consuming, if anything happens like it is now with this dust storm, the game speed does reset to normal, so just make sure you speed it back up again to try and hurry things along. Now I do tend to, to be playing most of this in full speed, but that is simply due to as I say, a lot of waiting time. And I must admit, that is one of the big drawbacks to it. You are waiting around a lot, watching things go on. That's not a bad thing, because it gives you plenty of time to, hopefully, fix any issues that arise. 
But it also does mean when you are trying to fix them, it takes a while for what you want to take effect. But there we have it. We have our new processing plant. So, as previously mentioned, we're going to make this metals only. There we go, six of them in there, that's nice. Now, we're going to wait for at least one of them to be built, because even though you do get your resources back when you dismantle anything, don't, you don't want to dismantle it and then that resource go to something else rather than what you want it to. For example, I don't want to demolish it and get me one metal back for it that can be built, used to build that, when it could end up being taken over here and placed on there. So, once again, <coughs> so, once again it's just a matter of Waiting for them to produce. There we go. Got one there. So what I will do now is recycle that. And as you can see there, I'll get the one metal back from the actual processor itself and the two ore that are in, coming in the processor. So you don't actually lose anything by dismantling any whatever you are dismantling. It's just whether the resource goes to where you want it to go or not. Now they are both done, let's build our two extra bio plants. There we go. So once that's built, that will be four bio plants and eight metal processors. Right. Looking good, if I do say so myself. Now I do know there are probably some of you out there watching who will be cringing and screaming at the screen about my, my layout. But that is the great thing about this. No layout is wrong. No layout is right. Every layout will work. Some better than others. But that's the fun of trying. And if you, if you end up Mess it, making a mistake, you can always do something to try and fix it. Okay, so as you can see you now, the storeroom is filling up mainly with food, but that's never a downside to anything. Um, and that's just simply because there is so all the resources are going directly into where they need to go. So, what shall we build next? Looking at the food, I'd probably say a canteen would be would be best. So that can be eight. Um, yeah, I think we'll go with that. I think that's the best option. We'll go and get. Well, this time we'll do what? Oh, is that it? And got the small and the medium. Okay. Yeah, we'll do it here so we can join it to both of them. That way then, no matter which one they're working in, they can get to it. There we go, it looks like with them extra botanists in now, all our food production is up to full. What is very handy. Our med kits are being produced at a relatively good rate so that is good and hopefully we should have some in storage soon although speaking of storage 63% already used up mostly with food and as you may have noticed our oxygen levels are starting to drop 19% so on top of the canteen I think it would be beneficial to build another oxygen processor and we'll connect that up to both of them. So again 
Oh, gods, what's up with the gods? Fight intruders. Ideally be armed so we can do it efficiently. Operate the security console and to detect intruders before they do damage. Okay. Right, so it looks like at some point we're going to be invaded. Right. So I think I know what direction we'll be going in momentarily. We'll be getting some security down. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, I think that is a nice spot to call it a day today. We will be back with this again. I'm planning to upload these on a Monday, Wednesday and Friday. So hopefully I will see you then. And we will look at getting our security set up next time. But for now, I've been Sankey84 and this has been Planet Base. Look after yourselves and goodbye.